So a crazy thing just happened in the Netherlands. Geert Wilders, who is the leader of his far-right political party, the PVV, or the Party for Freedom, completely smashed his competition during the last elections. And that's a pretty big deal, because this has never really happened before. Wilders and his party members were partying and celebrating when the election results came in, but there's also people that are worried. Some people joked about it, but there were a lot of people who were crying and protesting against these results. And when the Turks came, they built your f***ing country! How did the Netherlands get to this point? And why now, after many, many years, did Wilders' party become the biggest of them all? This is gonna be a fairly short video explaining how this guy managed to get so many votes. We gaan vandaag en vanavond hier een feestje bouwen. Dat hebben we wel verdiend. Maar morgen gaan we keihard, maar dan ook keihard, dag en nacht werken om die hoop voor die Nederlander die weer op één wil komen te staan waar te maken. Nederland, bedankt! So the PVV is not a new political party. It was founded in 2006 and since then they've always been around, mostly as part of the opposition. It's quite a sensitive topic in the Netherlands and that's because the PVV is considered far right. Wilders is known for having some controversial opinions. Willen jullie in deze stad en in Nederland meer of minder Marokkanen? He is very anti-Islam. He wants to stop the spread of Islam in the Netherlands. Uh, he has compared the Quran to Mein Kampf. He wants to stop immigration from any Muslim countries. And he wants to ban the construction of new mosques. And that sounds quite radical, but the next thing might surprise you. I'm gonna show you a map. And on this map, you can see all of the places where Wilders' party, the PVV, became the biggest party. It's almost everywhere, with the exception of some bigger cities. How is that possible? The Netherlands is known to be a tolerant country, right? So how did a far-right political party get so many people behind them? While the PVV has been around for some time, it was the most recent elections that they really exploded in popularity. And a big reason for that were the so-called strategic voters. These were people who voted for Wilders and his far-right party simply because they didn't want any left-wing party to become the biggest. They strategically voted for their best option on the right, which in this case for a lot of people was Geert Wilders. Nou, wij willen als PVV de Nederlanders weer op één zetten. Dat betekent dat wat ons betreft er een einde komt aan die belachelijke open grenzen politiek, dat we ook criminele buitenlanders het liefst het land uitzetten, maar vooral ook dat we die miljarden die we nu uitgeven aan stikstof en klimaat, dat we die gaan inzetten om de koopkracht van mensen te spekken. Om te zorgen dat mensen weer meer geld in hun portemonnee krijgen. Kortom, bij ons komt die Nederlander weer op één te staan. The Netherlands first. That was his main campaign message. And that might sound familiar because Trump was saying the exact same thing. America first. I mean, let's be honest, even the hair is kind of similar in some way. Saying he will put Dutch people first worked with a large group of his voters. There's a growing dissatisfaction among people. People working in healthcare, for example, recently went on strike because they don't feel compensated and appreciated enough. There's currently a housing crisis and there's also hardworking people who are fed up that their tax money is being used to pay for social support or used to fill the pockets of people working in Brussels for the EU. Of course, stopping the Islam and immigration in the Netherlands is a big part of the PVV's agenda. And while the Dutch are in general very tolerant and kind, there's a growing sensation that the Dutch culture is slowly being taken away from the people. Also this year, Wilders promised he would be more mild. He said he's open to dropping some of his more radical political views in order to focus on what's really important right now. And that resonated with a lot of people. So there was an empty void in the political spectrum and with no other party to fill up that gap, a lot of people were drawn to Wilders and his right-wing ideology. He played really well on people's emotions by highlighting the growing dissatisfaction and the anti-immigration feelings that are growing among people. And by getting rid of some of his more radical views, he managed to convince even more people. But nonetheless, there's a large group who are worried about the future. Ja, dit is een, uh, het land is gekaapt. Het land is gekaapt. Heeft u erop gehuild? Absoluut. Ja, net nog. Dit is een uh, begin van, een, uh, van het einde. The Netherlands has never been this divided. It's going to be a challenge for Wilders to form a functioning government. And he will probably have to give up some of his radical ideas if he wants to work together with other parties and become the next prime minister of the Netherlands. 
En dat zijn mensen die al, nadat ze 7, 8, 9, 10.000 euro aan mensen voor smokkelaars hebben betaald, al tot 3, 4, 5, 6 veilige landen zijn gegaan. Dus als ze in Nederland zijn, zijn het geen zielige vluchtelingen. Dat zijn migranten die volgens de regels van Dublin in het eerste land waar ze kwamen asiel hadden moeten aanvragen. Maar ze gaan door naar Nederland of naar Duitsland of naar Denemarken, omdat wij dat ze hier een gratis huis krijgen, gratis uitkering krijgen. Dus het zijn geen zielige vluchten. Meneer, het, tegen die 95% meneer, het voor dat we weer terug gaan naar zeggen, je komt er hier niet in. If you're Dutch or living in the Netherlands or you're just watching this from abroad, uh, please tell me what your thoughts are about this. There's a massive discussion going on. And like I said, I feel like the Netherlands has never been this divided. So I'm curious what you think. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.